Hi, it's me, Candy. You are in my studio. And this was a request after someone saw me setting it up, how I did my spotlight uh, photo shoot without an optical snoot, which is very much popular right now. And I wish I had an optical snoot, but I found this workaway. I will say, I want to link you to a video that also did this. I found this after I was doing my research into it and after I had done some trial. I wish I'd found this sooner. So if you want to go watch this video, I'll link it here for you or here. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna take you through it. Um, it's actually quite simple, but it does involve some investment. So for this, you're going to need a laptop and a projector with a HDMI cable or however you connect your projector. Now, there are a lot of projectors online you can get cheap. Um, some of them aren't great. I'm going to say get yourself a very uh, basic one, but it needs to have a lot of power because you are going to project essentially your shape onto the wall. And you might think, well, basic one, like you can get those old school ones, not the overhead projectors, but the old like conference center ones. I'm going to show you the one I'm using. I actually have mine mounted to the ceiling, um, but I can take it down. But this is because when I do my in-person sales, this is what I use before I install the TV screen. So this is my projector. It's really old, um, NEC one. The bulb, watch out for the bulb uh, life. They do have this um, in the settings for most of them that I, I have personally found. But it's connected by the HDMI cable straight into my laptop. So what you're going to do is create the shapes that you wish to project onto the background, essentially, in Photoshop. Now, you can do uh, the very basic black with the white circle in the middle, maybe some jagged, jaggedy lines, or maybe there's something particularly you want, like a spiral. And you're going to build them in Photoshop, and you're then going to project them onto the wall. It's quite simple. And now, it's a really harsh light for your model. You could, I'm doing that just as projector light, but you could, if you really want to, add another light. I'm just going to do a very simple setup where the projector projects onto the wall but doesn't hit your model, but we're going for a more spotlight effect um yes an optical snoot would be a lot easier but they are 500 odd plus when i last looked so i don't have that investment to do it for one or two shoots this is a great workaround i found and i was able to pick up a projector similar to the one i'm using right there um for about 30 quid collection in my local area so have a look um uh, particularly on ebay i found them but check the bulb life because so many of them are difficult to get the bulbs for on your laptop you create the shape uh photoshop use i've just opened this up in photos really quickly uh, and then this is what you project. This is where your model's gonna be. This is just dark because you don't want the light going there, obviously. So as you can see here, this is just projected onto a white wall. There is light coming in from this side and from there, but just so. Okay, so I don't like the hard edge, so I'm just gonna blur it out. Yes, you do get, you might just spot just on this side, some green tinge. In fact, let me just make it a little bit darker so you can see. Do you see this green tinge up here? So yeah, just move up. But part of that is the aesthetic I like. Now what you're gonna notice is that I am shown here. Do you see this? That's my camera. Look, if I move here, it gets worse. You need to be really mindful of where you're positioning yourself. So a lot of the time when you're taking these photos, I'm gonna try and be out of the frame as much as possible like this, which does mean I'm limited where I can shoot, but I can blur this in and out. It is a harsh light, let me show you. See what I mean about harsh? Bear in mind, this is the camera that I'm using my phone to make it more flattering for me. It's harsh. Look at that, those shadows. And you can see here, look at the shadows in the background. So yeah, notice though, because the projector is slightly above her, it does, above, above me, it does kind of go down. So it is a little more flattering, but it's still harsh. But ultimately, this is why you need a powerful projector, because if you don't have the powerful projector, you're not gonna get the big light, you're not gonna get enough light to expose for your model. Um, I'm going to show you the settings I'm going to use. With the projector being the only available light, I did have the camera on a tripod to allow for a slightly sh slower shutter speed, but my ISO was between 400 and 500 each time. I didn't want to go over that, but I think you agree the pictures came out really nice and she has flawless skin, which helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.